Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe and Mr. Chill Bear. And today I'm gonna to show you ways to relieve sore shoulders from muscle knots or trigger points. So let's get started. I know. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. So a lot of times when we have sore shoulder muscles, that's coming from muscle knots, or technically they're called trigger points. But really what happens is when you either overwork the muscle or maybe it gets a slight injury, those muscles tighten up into a ball and it causes a lot of pain and tightness. So some easy ways to kind of stretch those out for the shoulders is really stretching those specific shoulder muscles and doing some exercises because exercises actually help release those knots. Sometimes people think if you're working it, it's gonna make it more more knotted up or more painful. But when you work it, a lot of times that helps loosen up those muscles to relax them. So starting off with a super simple one is just shoulder circles. And so this helps work those upper muscles in the shoulder and some in the back of the shoulders as well. So you can do shoulder circles just going backwards, really making big shoulder circles going this way, or some people will say clockwise and counterclockwise, but going backwards and then maybe doing um, then 10 more forwards. So 10 back, 10 forwards. Um, you can do different amounts of numbers or you can just do it for time as well. But really make them big. Don't just kind of do this because that's really not going to get those muscles working, but really making big movements coming all the way up, really rotating all the way back and coming down. And you should really be able to feel those muscles in the shoulders working doing that. So the next exercise I really like is shoulder squeezes. And so with shoulder squeezes, it's pretty much like it sounds, and I'm gonna talk through it first and then I'll show you. But the biggest thing is to keep your shoulders down. Sometimes people will kind of crunch up and then squeeze back, but you're kind of defeating the point. You want the upper part to be very relaxed. Imagine almost that someone has their hand on your spine and you're trying to squeeze back and pinch their hand with your shoulder blades. So you can see I'm doing my elbows, I'm moving them back, but you're really using those muscles in the back to squeeze in. So it's not just bringing the elbows back, this just sometimes gives it a good target to go back, but you can squeeze back without moving the elbows to really make sure you're using the muscles. So I'm gonna turn a little bit so you can see and do, go with the elbows, just squeezing back, trying to keep those shoulders down, maybe just like a three to five second pause. Um, it can be two to three, a little bit sh shorter if you want, and then squeeze back again. So nice hold, make sure you're getting those muscles activated. That's going to help kind of release those trigger points or those muscle knots in there when you're really squeezing back, squeezing back, and then relax. That's really what helps loosen it up. So once you get those, kind of get those muscles moving, then you can stretch everything out. So one of the big muscles in the upper back, neck, but really the shoulders too, is the upper trap muscle. And so that comes all the way kind of out to the points here. So a lot of times when you have those sore shoulders, um, the upper trap is the one that's kind of involved there. So a uh, easy way to stretch the upper traps is if I'm stretching this side, my left side, I'm gonna put my hand underneath my bottom here. And that's just gonna keep that shoulder blade down uh, or the whole shoulder down. Some people put it behind their back, that's fine, but sometimes that's a little more tension on the shoulder. So I like to sit on it. Then you're gonna bring your hand all the way up where your fingers just kind of resting over your ear. If you can't get quite far that far, that's okay. But the point is you're gonna pull completely to the side. So you're not turning your head anyway when you're doing it. You're still looking forward and then you're just gently gonna pull over to the side and you're gonna feel that stretch kind of here going back just a little bit too. So that's gonna get that upper tra trap stretch. Holding it for 30 seconds, get that nice 30 second stretch because that's what, what's gonna help release that muscle, release those knots in there. And if you have time, I would stretch both sides. So again, coming up and over and pulling to the side, but my head is still facing forward with that stretch. So again, 30 seconds, three times on each side. You can alternate if you want. I like to alternate, but you can do them all on one side and then do them all on the other side. The next one is gonna be a levator scapulae stretch. And the reason that really causes a lot of shoulder soreness is because it attaches down to that shoulder blade or the scapula and goes all the way up into the neck. So if it's sore down here and it's pulling on that shoulder blade in different ways, it can cause that whole shoulder to be sore. It's also really gets really sore when we're stressed out, when we kind of hold those shoulder blades up, um, or if we've done a big workout and we've gotten everything sore. So with 
this one, you can place your hand here with your elbow going up, and that helps keep that shoulder blade down to get a good stretch. If you can't do this, if this is really uncomfortable, that's okay, you can still sit on it, but I've learned this way, this is the way I've always done it, and I feel like you get a good stretch. Then you're gonna bring your other hand up behind your head, so not on the side like we did before, but coming almost up over like a helmet. You know, you got your got your arm helmet here because you're gonna pull at a 45 degree angle. Um, so it's not forward, it's not to the side, but it's kind of at that angle, almost where you're tucking that nose into your armpit. So before I do it, I'm gonna take a picture for my thumbnail so you can take it too if you want. And then I'm gonna pull down and in. So you see I'm going at an angle. I'm not coming down this way. I'm not coming straight down. I'm coming down at that angle, almost just tucking that nose inside that armpit. Might wanna make sure you're wearing some deodorant so it doesn't stinky for you. And then again, holding that for 30 seconds, coming back up. If you have time, I would really work both sides because even if there's just a knot on one side, it's gonna cause some imbalances and you really wanna work both sides. So elbow up if you can down at that angle, that 45 degree angle, tucking that nose in if you can, and you should feel that stretch all the way up and down into that shoulder right through there. And then after that, some people really have a hard time with those stretches and that's okay. You can do one of the common things of using a ball to really get into those muscle knots or those trigger points and really get that direct spot. Because sometimes with these stretches, maybe you have something where you're not supposed to do those big movements and you really just need to get into that knot. And so um, this is just a racquetball. I like these because they're a little bit more squishy. You can use a little cross ball or a tennis ball if you want a little bit more pressure. Some people also lie down into it, especially if you want to do like your upper trap here, which is fine. But if you're really sore, I usually say just start off using your hand pressure into those spots because it can be a little counterproductive if you're pushing really hard and just really like getting into that muscle and just kind of, uh, you know, just cranking on and cranking on it. Sometimes that can actually just make it more sore. So I would always say start off with a little bit, see how it feels. And then if you want to get a little bit more pressure or push deeper into it, then that's fine. You can do that. But so for this, this one, I would just say like the upper trap, since that's a common spot for those um, trigger points, maybe kind of around in here. Some people get them a little bit higher up, but sometimes you can just kind of push through the area with your finger and like right there, I say, oh yeah, that's the spot. I can feel that in my upper trap. And then all you do is take that ball, get right on it and just push straight down into it. Again, maybe 25 to 30% of all you can push. If you're in the right spot, you're gonna feel it. Some people might wanna roll around since that upper trap's a big muscle, that's fine. You can definitely do that rolling around a little bit and keeping that pressure the whole time. But maybe just starting off with 10 seconds, some people will go all the way up to a minute, especially if they're lying down on it, which you can. But like I said, I'd start off with a little bit and then work your way up because sometimes you might do too much and you're just gonna be way more sore than you started with. So there you have it. That was ways to relieve sore shoulders from muscle knots or trigger points. If you'd like to help support my channel, make sure and click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, have fun. Yeah. And I hope you feel better soon.